this open road budget winch worth it? This is the Panther 2S Plus 13,000 pound winch from Open Road 4-Wheel Drive. Coming straight from the factory with a synthetic rope, two wireless and one wired remotes, six horsepower motor and a lifetime warranty. Not only is this thing incredibly powerful, but the 2S Plus model comes with an all new 216 to 1 internal gear ratio that makes it pull faster and smoother while minimizing heat. Today, we're slapping this unit into the Jeep and heading straight to the woods to put it to the test. All right, since there's already a lot of information out there about how to take apart the headlights, grill, and header panel, I went ahead and did that all off camera. So now that we have room to get the winch into the bumper, let's go ahead, grab that, slap the winch in, get everything hooked up, and then we can go test everything out. So I went ahead and disconnected this control box so we can relocate that, mount it in a different location, save some cutting that I'm gonna have to do on the grill later. So the first spot we're gonna have to cut, and if we're lucky, the only spot we're gonna have to cut is a notch right here for the clutch release and engagement. And then I've also thought through Few different options and it's looking like the best solution for this controller here it's going to be basically just flip it around and then probably run some dip, zip ties around the header panel right here that will hold that into place should be enough room once this header panel goes all the way back i think we'll have enough clearance and that'll just kind of keep that out of the way and allow us to not have to cut this whole chunk out when everything goes back together. Yesterday, we got this open road 13,000 pound winch installed. So today, I wanna to put this thing to the test. I went ahead and pre-tensioned the line already. It 
So today I want to set up a couple scenarios and see how this thing works and kind of test out the mechanics of this winch. And obviously the real test is going to be kind of long term durability. But for now, since I've only had it on here for a day, I figured let's just go ahead and see how this thing works and see how it holds up and see how well this thing can pull. There's a couple different scenarios I want to run today. And one of those is going to be see how consistently this thing can pull me up a hill. Um, I'm not necessarily going to be stuck, but let's just set up a scenario and do one consistent pull and see how well it does. And then lastly, there's something I really want to try, so stay tuned to the end of this video to see what I have planned for this winch. I wanted to interrupt this video really quick to let you guys know that there is no bias and I'm under no obligation to make this winch look good. Everything I show in this video is me simply testing out this winch and showing you guys my results. But with that being said, if you guys are on the market for adding a winch to your build, I highly encourage you to check out the product link in my description. Coming in at under $500, the Open Road Panther should definitely be on your list when considering your option. And even better yet, if you use my code EO50, you guys can save yourself an additional $50, making this thing super affordable. All right, I think we have our first test. It's super muddy down here, so there's actually a chance we may need to winch up this hill anyways. Um, probably have one shot, and if I spin it up, then I would need a winch. So, perfect scenario to test this out. I said I wasn't necessarily going to be stuck. Well, now I'm in a scenario where I really need a winch. So let's get this thing hooked up and see if it pulls me out of here. Pretty steep. For this test, I really wanted to show this full pull with no cuts in the video to make sure you guys got the full experience of this winch working. Because ultimately, this video is the first step in seeing if this winch can perform and is actually worth spending your money on. You'll notice I stop a few times during the pull and that was me simply making sure my battery voltage stayed in a good range.
well. That worked surprisingly well. I had a couple stops um, just to keep the battery charged up, uh, but that entire time I was just in neutral and it pulled me right up, no problem. So I think that was a successful mission. On to the next test. All right, the last test is a bit of a fun one. I just wanna see if we can lift the front end of the Jeep off the ground from one of these branches. Right, guys well there we have it I would say today was a successful day so let me know in the comments below what you guys think is this open road winch worth it